You know, my wife and I arrived here in Hershey in 2001. But even before our arrival, we knew that we were coming to a very special place. We had heard about Four Diamonds and Thon and knew about the very special attention that the people in this area gave to children with cancer. I've been very grateful to spend much of my career at the Penn State College of Medicine and, and what we now know as Penn State Health. And I've had the privilege to work with so many talented and dedicated people in this organization. You know, recently, someone asked me, what is it that inspires me about the Penn State College of Medicine and Penn State Health? And I really didn't have to think very long before I answered. It's the people. Collectively, it's the employees of this organization that make it so successful and so special whether it be those involved in patient care, education, research, or across all three, they're really those employees what make it happen. You know, I don't like the word retirement. When you look it up in the dictionary, it means to withdraw, and I have no intention of withdrawing. I plan to spend more time with family, travel, and perhaps go to some baseball games. As I reflect on my career, I really feel that, that myself and my colleagues have done a good job of focusing on what's the right thing to do and making sure that that gets done. But as I've gotten older, I've, I think I've learned more to understand the wisdom behind a quote that's often attributed to Maya Angelou, in which she said, people will often forget what you say to them and will often forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. You know, I'm, Mary Ann and myself are very appreciative of the way that the College of Medicine and Penn State Health have accepted us over the last 18 years. And personally, I'm very, very grateful for the report, support that I've received over the last five years. It's really been a privilege and an honor to work with you, serve with you, learn from you. I wish you well.